All right, um, we have a, a Springfield trap door that we need to talk about. This is a uh, 1884 Springfield. Um, it is uh, stock number 292 at www.artsgunsandammo.com. Uh, this would have been uh, after the Civil War. It was used by the U.S. military um, for quite a while. It was a very good firearm. Um, there were many different varieties of it. They upgraded it several times. Uh, I guess the question that you're having is what's a trapdoor rifle? So that's probably something that we want to uh, discuss right now. We can take a look at this uh, at this rifle, and we can see. I'm going to actually turn the rifle around and put it down the other way because it's easier for you to see. So this is the trapdoor area right in here. Okay, this is the area of the trapdoor, and what we do is we're going to cock the firearm. So we now got it cocked. We're going to lift the trap door. Then we can drop a cartridge into that area, slide it forward or just drop it in, and lock it into place. Now, if we pull the trigger, the hammer will hit strike the firing pin and it will set off the 4570 round. The 4570 round that we would be using on this rifle um, is in the belt here and it looks like this. So this is a 4570. This is a government 4570. I'm going to lay it underneath the firearm. Okay. That's a US government 4570. And this is the belt that the soldier actually would wear. You can see US imprinted on it. So this is the actual belt he would wear uh, with the cartridges on it. It's kind of neat. There's not like lots of these running around except in museums. This is the cartridge that would go into the firearm and that cartridge would have been put in right here. So this is the trapdoor that we're going to load it with. In very good shape mechanically, if we go forward from the trapdoor, we can see that up in here we have a sight. The sight was workable laying down, but when I put it up like this, I can actually elevate, go up and down on the site, okay, make the, uh, the aperture go up and down so that I can get elevation. The higher this uh, goes, the more it's going to lift the barrel, and the more it lifts the barrel, the more elevation we're going to get on that particular round. You can see that the firearm, we've looked at the other side, you can now see this side. It's in relatively good condition. I wouldn't say it's like new, but looking at it, we can see, you know, there's a nick there. Uh, probably a couple of nicks or so. This could come off here. This is actually some, looks like sap on the stock up here. Uh, so we could have taken that off. We didn't take it off, um, but it would come off the firearm. We can see the Springfield right in here, and I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's Actually, an eagle right here um, denoting Springfield. The serial number is underneath the loading area here, and it's uh, 489, uh, relatively too much light sometimes is a bad thing, 489325 uh, serial number. Okay. One of the really neat things about this firearm, aside from the fact that it's in very good condition for its age, is the fact that it also has a bayonet with it. Uh, so here's a bayonet in a scabbard with the loop to hang it on the, and right, as a matter of fact, right on this belt, this cartridge belt, so we can hang the bayonet on there, and we're going to remove the scabbard from the bayonet, and we can see that the bayonet's in extremely good condition. And right in this area right here, it says U.S. for U.S. Army. Um, so, very nice bayonet, and it's a twist lock bayonet. 
Um, is this the original bayonet for this firearm? I relatively doubt that. I, it would be, there are no serial numbers on the bayonets, but I'm almost certain this is not the original for this bayonet. The firearm itself is original, the original parts on it, so on and so forth. Um, so, you can uh, go to www.artsgunsnammo.com, take a look at this firearm, see if that's something that you would like to add to your collection or take out and shoot. I mean, it, ammunition is readily available. 4570 has been around for a long time, uh, and it's something that you can uh, certainly acquire. So, go to that, uh, give me a call, email me, text me. Um, we'll put it on your favorite credit card, add some shipping charges, get it to your FFL, and it'll be yours. So, uh, send us a check, and when the check cashes, we'll send you the firearm. So, we enjoy having people stop by, really enjoy some of the comments we've gotten lately on the firearms. I don't consider myself the... Uh, a total expert, so I enjoy having people that know something about these or just hearing their comments. Thank you very much for stopping by and for more Guns and Ammo. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye now.